生就会讲啊，在部落就打个屁股，也是很多叶子啊。它是草啊，叶子跟草是不一样的，两面宝，对不对？嗯，姐妹们要看。Okay, hello everyone. Good evening. Um, can you please switch on your cameras so I can see you? Um, and just make sure that your microphones um, are on mute. Okay. Okay, so hello, um, Wan Yun. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, and um, what have you been doing since our last class? Wan Yun? I have learned about something like okay. uh, adjective, describe verb, and uh, adjective, describe noun, and adverb, describe verbs. Very good, excellent. Very good. Well done. Very good. Is that your sister in the background? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um. Hello, Lei. Lei Jia. Yes, teacher. Okay. Hi. How do I pronounce your name? Lai Jia Qi. Lai Jia Qi. Okay. My apologies. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um. And how old are you? I'm 13 years old. Okay. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. We, we still have two students waiting to join. They're having a few problems at the moment. So we're waiting for Ashman um, and also Jing Kai. I think they're having a few problems with their audio. Okay. So it looks like Jing Kai is here. Hello, Jing Kai. Can you please switch on your, um, your camera? Okay. Um, and just pull your camera down, please, Jinkai, so I can see your face a little bit more, please. Okay, good. Okay, how are you, Jinkai? I'm fine. Okay, um, and what have you been doing since our last class? Have you been doing anything? Attending online classes. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So you've been going to online classes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, I think Ashman is trying to join, but she's having a few problems. Okay. All right. So let's get started with today's class. Um, we're going to look at how to write an essay today. Okay. All right, so two seconds. Let me just get this ready for you. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to look at how to write an essay. Um, and the reason we're going to look at this today is because um, in the first exam, the FCE exam, um, the first writing question is um, an essay. So you need to know how to write an essay, okay? All right, so before we start, I'd like to think about mobile phones, okay? Um, does everybody own a mobile phone? Do you have a mobile phone? Yeah, okay. Good. Let's see. Oh, Ashman. Hello, Ashman. Are you there? Can you switch on your camera for me, please, so I can see you? Okay. So, Ashman Rizamil, can you please switch on your camera? All right. Okay, so um, what I'd like you to think about is the role of technology in our society, okay? So here is a typical question. So your class has been discussing the role of technology in today's society. And for homework, your teacher has asked you to write an essay giving your opinions on the following statement. And here is this statement. 
Uh, the mobile phone has made a positive contribution to our lives today. All right. Um, oh, Ashman, you have a, a problem with your camera. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Is your microphone working, Ashman? Can you speak? Yes, teacher. Oh, you can. All right, no problem. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so long as you can speak, you, you don't need to have your camera on. Okay, um, all right, so I'd like you to think about this question. The mobile phone has made a positive contribution to our lives today. Ashman, do you agree with this sentence? Yes. Yes, why? Why do you agree? Um, wait. Because with mobile phone, we can um, we can use mobile phone uh, for searching some information for our essay. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, Lai Jiaqi Chi, do you agree with Ashman? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the mobile phone has made a positive contribution to our lives? Yes. Okay, why? Because I think we can surf internet easily and then we can chat with our friends. Okay, very good. Um, Wan Yan, do you agree? Yes, I agree with her. Okay, so um, do you think that mobile phones have made a, con um, a positive contribution to our lives? Yes, I do, because um, we could use mobile phone to contact our parents or relatives from far away. Okay, excellent. Very, very good. Well done. And Jin Kai, do you agree? Yes. Why? Because mobile phone can bring us a lot. Because mobile phones can do what, Jinkai? Because do something easy. Okay. All right. Very good. Jinkai, can you turn up your volume, please? Because I, I can't hear you very well. You're quite faint. Sorry? Uh, already all right okay no problem okay all right so let's continue okay so what i'd like you to do now is i'd like you to read this essay about mobile phones okay so i'm just going to make it a little bit smaller for you can everybody read this is this too small for you can you read this essay here Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'd like you to read this essay and in the chat box, tell me once you have finished reading, just write done in the chat box. Okay. Actually, let me try and make it bigger for you all. No, i sorry, I can't make that bigger. There we are.
Thank you, Ashleman. So when you have finished reading, just let me know in the chat box. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, everyone. And just waiting for Jing Kai to let me know that he has finished. Very good. Thank you, Jing Kai. Okay, so um, Ashman, can you tell me what is this art, um, this essay about? What does it talk about? Ash Ashman, can you tell yes. me? Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> okay. Um, they say it's about um, <clears throat> there are two sides of Two side of um, the Argue. positive side and negative right. side. Mm -hmm. Good. Of using mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So we have to use it wisely. Mm -hmm. Very good. So that we can. We can improve our life with mobile phones. Okay, very good. Do you agree with this essay? Yes, I agree with the essay. I agree. I agree with the essay. Okay, so not I am agree. The sentence is I agree. Okay. Okay, so do you agree with the essay? Yes, I agree with the essay. Okay, good. Why do you agree with the essay? Because it has um, it have positive side and negative side mm -hmm. on using oh. mobile phone. On using mobile phones. Okay, very good. Um, Le Li Jai. Chi, do you agree with this essay? Yes, I agree with the essay. Okay, why? Because I think it helps how us in the advantages and the, the disadvantages. Okay. And then uh, helps us um, not to use the mobile phone, um, not to always use the mobile phone because it will harm, it will harm our health. Okay. Um, Li Jai Chi, there's something wrong with your audio today. Do you have a microphone and a headset which you can speak into? Mm, I'm wearing a headset now. Sorry, I can't hear you very well. Okay, so if you, if you can try to speak into a microphone and a headset, it just, um, it's just much better because it doesn't pick up all the external noise. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. Um, Wan Yan, Wan Yan, sorry, do you agree with this essay? Yes, I certainly agree. Okay, very good. Why do you agree? I agree with it because all of the ideas and all of the ideas are true and you should really use the mobile. 
Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Jin Kai, can you switch on your camera, please, so I can see you? Oh, I see. All right. Okay, so um, what I'd like us to do now is I'd like us to look at the language in this essay. Okay, so we're going to look at how we structure an essay. And we're going to look at the language. So you can see that there are sentences which have been underlined okay and words that be, have been underlined um what i'd like us to do is i'd like us to look at these underlined words and tell me what do they mean okay so for example on the positive side and on the negative side are words that express contrasts okay so we call them linking devices which express or contrast ideas okay words that add more information are words such as another advantage is more over and finally okay and then a sentence which concludes is in conclusion. Okay. Does everybody understand? Yeah. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take a look at these words here. These words here. Let's see if I can. Okay. There we go. So I'd like you to take a look at these words here in exercise B. In addition, on the other hand, some people feel that another disadvantage is, on the one hand, besides this, on balance, to sum up what is more, furthermore, others argue that. And I'd like you to decide, are these words expressing contrasts? Are they adding more information or are they concluding okay all right so let's look at the first one together in addition what do you think this sentence this linker does what is the the purpose of in addition does it express contrasts does it add information or does it conclude any ideas Concluding. No, it doesn't conclude, but thank you, Wan Yan. Oh, very good. I have somebody else here. Um, Alia, Alia Yasmin, can you switch on your camera and your microphone? Thank you for your answer. You've given me the right answer, but it'd be just good to see you. Can you switch on your camera and your microphone? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, can you switch on your camera, please? Um, I don't know why I can switch on my camera. Okay, so you, you could, okay, um, all right, no problem. It's quite easy to switch on your camera, but um, so for example, on, on your Zoom, it has stop camera and you just need to click on that. No, I think there is something wrong with my laptop. Oh, okay, there's something wrong with your camera. Okay, um, all right, so if you want to give me the answers today, um, you could just, you don't have to write them in the chat box, you can just tell me, okay? Okay, so you have the right answer. Um, so in addition, adds more information, okay? Everyone? So in addition, adds more information. All right, what about the next one? On the other hand, what do you think on the other hand does? Does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Very good. Who was that? Who told me that answer? Very good. Okay, good. So yes, on the other hand, expresses contrast. Very good. Well done. Okay, what about this sentence? Some people feel that. 
Does it express contrast? Does it add information? Does it conclude? Is it expressing contrast? Very good. Yes, it is. Well done, Lei Ji. Uh, Lai Ji Chi. Have I pronounced your name correctly? Lai Jia Chi. Oh, sorry, Lai Jia Chi. My apologies. Thank you. Okay, so yes, it expresses contrast. Very good. Well done. Okay, what about this expression, this linker? Another disadvantage is, what does this do? Does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Adding information. Excellent. Very good. Well done. It adds information. Good. Okay, and the next one, on the one hand, what does this do? Does it express contrast? Does it add information? Does it conclude? Expressing contrast. Very good, excellent. Very good, well done. Okay, and what about this one? Besides this, what does it do? Express contrast, add information, or conclude? Uh, no, it doesn't. It actually expresses contrast. Okay. Okay, what about on balance? Does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Concluding. Um, yes, it does. Very good. What about the next one? To sum up, does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Conclude. Yes, it concludes. Very good. Well done. And then how about this, Linka? What is more? Does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Any ideas? Adding information. It adds information. Very good. Well done. And then furthermore, does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Adding information. Yes, it adds information. Very good. Well done. And then the last one, others argue that, does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? It express contrast. It expresses contrast, very good, excellent, good. Okay, so hopefully you can understand with all those arrows there. Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay, so if you need to make a note or if you want to take a screenshot of this, you can, because these linkers are very useful um, to use in your uh, writing exam, particularly in the essay, okay? And they're called formal linking devices. And this is what they do, all right? Ah, Alia, Yasmin, I can see you. Excellent, your camera is working, good to see you. Is it Yasmin or is it Alia? I can't remember your name. Or oh, now you've disappeared. Yes, oh, what teacher. Okay, what is your name? Alia Yasmin. Alia Yasmin. Okay, fantastic. Good. Good to see you back in the class. Okay, all right. Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay, so let's continue. So as I was saying, it's really important that you learn these linkers because if you can remember when we looked at this, uh, let me just make it smaller. When we looked at this essay, this example of an essay, you can see that it has linkers, okay? And these are really, really important, okay? Here is another linker 
the word however. Does anyone know what does however do? Does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it conclude? Contrast. It does indeed. Very good. Well done. It expresses contrast. Good. Okay. All right. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to look at this essay again. And I'd like you to tell me what do the paragraphs do? So the first paragraph, paragraph one, is the introduction. Okay. What is the purpose of paragraph two? What information can you see in paragraph two? Main, main idea one and some supporting details. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Very, very good. So it provides uh, the first argument and some supporting uh, details. So it argues the positive side. And then what's paragraph three? What does this paragraph do? So if this paragraph talks about the positive argument, what does this paragraph do? Negative. Yeah, it talks about the negative argument. Very good. And then what is this paragraph? What's the, the purpose of this last paragraph here? Paragraph four. Any ideas? The conclusion. It's the conclusion. Very good. Okay. So, whereas the introduction introduces the topic of the essay, the conclusion concludes all the things that have been discussed in the essay. So, in your conclusion, you never introduce a new idea. Okay. The conclusion is just to conclude the things that you have discussed in your essay. All right. Does anyone have any questions? OK, and so we can also use these linkers when we want to organize our ideas. So for example, uh, first of all, or to begin with, or secondly, or finally, okay? So these linkers organize our ideas. When we want to organize our ideas, we can use these linkers, okay? All right, okay. So one last question. And let's look at question number four, because this is very important. Okay, so in examiners look for evidence of a good range of structures and vocabulary in your essay. Which words has the writer of the model answer used to avoid repeating the word mobile phones? So look at the essay again and find other words that the writer has used instead of mobile phones. Can you find those words for me? Useful device. Very good, excellent. You can see useful device down there. Very good, very good. Any other words? Dead. I can't hear you. Can you, say that? Can you say that again? Models. Okay, where do you see that word? Which paragraph? Uh, third paragraph. The third paragraph. Okay. The advantages that many models. Uh, in the third paragraph? The, or the no. second? The second. The second. Yeah, okay. Let me try and find it because I can't. Oh, there, yes, it is. Models, excellent, very good. So that's another way of saying mobile phones. Very good. Are there any more?
Mm, teacher, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, but I think it's the luxury, luxury item. Very good. Well done. Luxury items. Very good. Excellent. Where do you see that, Wenyan? The first paragraph, uh, the second sentence, the first paragraph, the introduction. Oh, the introduction. Okay. Yes. yes. Good girl. Well done. Um, I can't find it. Oh, there is. Yes. A luxury item. Well done. Okay. So this word is pronounced luxury. Can you say that word for me? Luxury. One more time. Luxury item. Excellent. Well done. Very good. Excellent. So this is how you should use different vocabulary, different synonyms to avoid repeating the same word, okay? And if you do that, you demonstrate to the examiner that you have a good range of vocabulary, all right? Okay, does anyone have any questions? All right, okay, so what I'd like you to think about now is the computer, okay? So do you think the computer has greatly improved our lives? This question here. The computer has greatly improved our lives today. Do you agree? Anyone? Wen Yun, do you agree? Yes, I agree because okay. uh, the computer has bigger screen so that we won't use the uh, gadget, I mean mobile phone to search for something or do our online homework. Moreover, mm -hmm. we also can find others, maybe Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, something like that to complete mm -hmm. our homework. Excellent. Very good. Well done. Good. Okay. Um, Lee Jai Chi, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay. Why? Because I think we can watch movies with the bigger screen. And then um, we can um, uh, we can meet our friends in the Zooms in okay. our tuition. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, Ashman, do you agree? Yes. Okay, so what, do you think that the computer has improved your life? Um, computers are so helpful. Um, because I always study um, using my computer. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, Jing Kai, do you agree? Okay. I, I can't hear you, I'm afraid. Sorry, Jing Kai. Okay. Um, and have we lost a student? I think we've lost someone. Um, yeah, we've lost. We've lost someone. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's continue. All right, so I'd like now to share another screen with you. So just give me two seconds. Here we are. Okay. All right, so here is another essay. Let me just make this bigger for you. Okay, here we are. All right, so here is another example of an essay. So here's a question. So uh, you have been doing a project on travel and tourism, a 
and your teacher has asked you to write an essay giving your opinions on the following statement. Travel broadens the mind and widens our horizons. And the question is, write your essay. You should write between 120 and 180 words. Okay. All right. So does anyone have any questions, any problems with vocabulary? Do you understand this question? Not real. No. Okay. So travel broadens the mind. So what that means is if you travel, it will um, increase your knowledge about different cultures, um, different traditions, different countries. Um, and also it will increase your opportunities. So it widens your horizons. It means that you'll have more opportunities in life if you travel because you'll learn about different countries and cultures and traditions and maybe a new language. Um, and it widens your horizons, meaning uh, your experiences, your opportunities will be, uh, be increased or will be greater. Okay. Do you now understand? Yes. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, does anyone agree or disagree with this sentence? Ashman, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay, why? Why do you agree, Ashman? Do you like traveling? Yes. Okay, I like traveling. Why? why? Because we can uh, release our stress and we can We can learn other cultures in other country. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, do you agree, Wonyan? Yes, I totally agree. Because okay. uh, if I travel, I can have a... Maybe I can try on their local food or traditional food. I also can uh, know about their culture and their history. Yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, Lai Jia Chi, do you agree? Yes, I agree because I think that we can um, see the historical buildings and some historical and things and we can touch it and see by ourselves okay very good thank you um and alia yasmin do you agree okay we're not having much luck with that. Alia or Jinkai today. All right, don't worry. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to read this example of an essay which a student has written in answer to this question here, okay? So I'd like you to spend just a few minutes reading it and let me know in the chat box once you have finished reading it, okay?
Very good, Lee Jai. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. Good. Okay, so um, one one Yun, can you tell me what does the writer talk about in this essay? The writer of this essay talk uh, talk about the uh, travel. What travel had benefit our society? Mm -hmm. And it said that travel had enables them to observe and value other cultures and to understand that theirs is not the only way of life. Right. Moreover, mm -hmm. the travel uh, the writer has said that something about the importance of the historic monuments and it was he, he or she also said that um, he or she strongly believed that if we travel with an open mind, uh, our horizon will be widened even further. Very That's good. All. Excellent. Very good. That was very good. Thank you very much. Do you agree? Yes, I strongly agree. Okay, why do you strongly agree? Because uh, everything in this asset is, um, I think it's also the idea of mine. And yes, I think it's important to know others' uh, country, history, and their culture. Mm -hmm. And also oh. we we can learn about their language. Very good, excellent, very good. Okay, um, Ashman, do you agree with uh, Wen Yan? Yes, I agree with Wen Yan. Okay, why? Well, because... Why do you agree? Ashman, are you there? Oh dear, we're not having much luck today. Okay, all right. Um, Li Jia Chi, do you agree with Wen Yan? Yes, I agree because I I think that learning, uh, learning culture and history is very important to, um, to our student. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Anything else? And I think uh, travel uh, is a very great opportunity. So that we can um, see and touch it by ourselves. Very good, excellent. Okay, Ashman. No, I, I can't. I can't hear you. Thank you very much, Lee Jai Chi. Thank you. Um, we're having lots of problems with audio today. Okay, um, Jing Kai, are you there? Okay, do you agree with this essay? Okay. Um, oops, sorry, excuse me.
Okay, sorry about that. All right, okay. Um, who else do we have here today? Um, Yasmin, are you there? We've still lost Yasmin. All right, okay. All right, so what I'd like us to do now is I'd like us to look at the language in this, um, in this essay. So let's take a look at the language. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to look at this essay and tell me, um, are there any words that you could use when you want to introduce an idea? So what words can you use when you want to introduce an idea? Firstly. Very good, excellent. There we are, firstly. And introduce another idea. Secondly. Very good, secondly. Anything else? Personally, I think. Okay, so that's introducing your opinion. That's your opinion. But I, I'd like you to tell me, is there a sentence you can use that introduces an idea? Another benefit. Very good. Excellent. Down here. Very good. Okay. Now, can you find me a word which means, um, which concludes, or a link that concludes? To conclude. Very good, excellent, to conclude. Down here, okay. What about this word? What do you think this word does? Does it show contrast? Or does it show cause and effect? Very good, it shows cause and effect. Can you find another linker which shows cause and effect? As a result. As a result, excellent. Very, very good, well done. Okay, good. Um, do we have any other words there? No. Okay. All right. But yes, and up here, personally, I think, personally, I think that shows your opinion. Okay. Can you find another expression which shows your opinion? It seems to me. Very good. It seems to me. And one more. Okay, so down here, I strongly believe. Okay. All right, so these expressions show your opinion. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? No. No? Okay. So let's try and revise all these words that we've looked at today. See if you can remember them. because we've looked at a lot of words. All right, so we're going to look at, th these words are called cohesive devices, or they're called uh, linkers. Oops, cohesive devices or they're called linkers. And they're used to link ideas together. All right, so we've looked at a lot of them today. See if you can remember them. Okay, so can anybody tell me an expression you can use to, or a linker you can use to express contrast? In addition. No, in addition doesn't express contrast. Try again, another one. 
On the other hand. Very good. On the other hand, expresses contrast. Very good. Any others? Besides. Besides, very good. Any others? Others, others argue that. Very good, excellent. Others argue that. Oops. Very good. Any others? Furthermore. Furthermore doesn't express contrast. Some people feel that. Can you say that again? I can't hear you. Some people feel that. Very good. Some people feel that. Any others? No, it seems to me it show it shows your pers your personal opinion. Can you remember this positive side? Again, please. On the positive side. Okay. Well, on the positive side, on the negative side. Okay, any others? However. Very good, excellent. That was the word I was waiting for. However, very good. Okay, and I'm going to give you some more. So you can use however. You can also use none the less. Or you can use never the less. Okay, so all of these devices, these linkers express contrast um, and also on the one hand. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one, number two. Can you remember linking devices which add more information? In addition. Very good. Excellent. In addition. Any others? Furthermore. Very good. Any others? Besides. Very good. You can use besides as well. Yep. Good, any more? Finally. Okay, no, that's, that's organizing ideas. You can use additionally. Oh, I've spelled that wrong, additionally. More of it. Very good, excellent. Moreover, very good, well done. Okay, and then the next one. Can you give me linking devices which show cause and effect? Can you remember these words? Conclusion. Okay, so that's concluding. So that's used. At, and, and again, please, I can't hear you. Consequently. Very good. Consequently. Very good. Anything else? As a result. Very good. As a result. Um, and you can also use subsequently as well. That's another one. Okay. And you can also use 
therefore, this is another one. Um, and to add more information, you can use in fact. Okay, so all of these are called cohesive devices and they are formal cohesive devices, which you can use in your essays. All right. Okay. Okay, does anyone have any questions? No? Okay, so can you take a screenshot or make a note of these? Because they're very, very important. You need to use them in your essays. So let me know once you've taken a screenshot or you've written them down. Just let me know in the chat box by writing done. Very good, thank you. Very good. Accordingly, no, Ashman. Accordingly, it does not show cause and effect. Accordingly is an adverb. It's not a linking device. Okay. All right. Has everyone taken a screenshot or made a note of these? So Jinkai and Alia Yasmin. Thank you, Ashman. Jinkai, have you done? Have you finished? Thank you, Alia. Have you have you made it a screenshot? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah you've done. Screenshot. You've done it. Okay, fantastic. All right, well done, everyone. So I'm I'm going to delete this now. Then, okay. So um, I'm going to give you a little break, everyone. Give you a chance to go to the toilet if you need to go, um, and get a drink if you need to get a drink. And if you can come back in ten to fifteen minutes, okay. All right. So if you need to go to the toilet, you can and get a drink, and I'll see you in 10 to 15 minutes, okay? All right, okay, see you soon.
Okay, so welcome back everyone. Thank you very much for turning your cameras on. So if you can turn on your camera, please do. All right, so we're going to continue with um, how to write an essay now. So what I'd like you to do is, um, we're going to look at this essay here. So let me just make this bigger for you. Okay, so here is a question. Let me just highlight it for you. Okay, here it is. Um, you have been doing a class project on technology. Uh, your teacher has asked you to write an essay giving your opinion on the following statement. People in the modern world depend too much on computers, okay? So it's a similar question to the ones we've looked at before, okay? And uh, the question, uh, the essay is write 120 to 180 words, okay? So let's take a look at this sentence here. People in the modern world depend too much on computers. Um, Li Jai, Chi, do you agree with that sentence? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I think that um, people uh, are lazy to walk um, to walk to their friend's house or something, and that they wanted to um, text them messages. Okay. All right, very good, thank you. Um, Ashman, do you agree? Okay, do you agree? Okay, not hearing you very well. Sorry, Ashman. Okay, um, Won Yan, do you agree? Yes, I certainly agree. Excellent. Why do you agree? I agree with it because nowadays some of the people are very lazy and they depend too much on the computer. They, some of them are lazy to do the best maths homework, so they go online and search for calculator and just... Uh, search for the answer and even some of them use the, the google or other website to search for some uh, homework that related to the teacher they had uh, the teacher had given to them and just copy and paste very good excellent do you do that no no very good Okay, um, good. And uh, Yasmin, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I think uh, from computer, we can get a lot of information and easy to get the information that we want to search on. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good. Okay, so we're going to now look at um, this essay. So here is an answer to that question. I'm just going to make it smaller for you. Can everyone see that? Let me try and make it bigger, a little bit bigger. 
There we are. Okay, so I'd like you to read in the chat box once you have finished reading, okay? Just write done in the chat box. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ashman. Oh, you're having internet problems again. Okay, no problem, Ashman. Thank you. Thank you, Alia, Yasmin. Thank you, Wan Yan. Wan Yun, sorry, Wan Yun. And Jin Kai, have you finished? All right. So Jinkai, when you have finished reading, let me know in the chat box, just write done. You're done, okay, fantastic. All right, so um, Lai Ji, Jai Chi, do you agree with this, uh, this essay? Mm, yes, because mm, I think that, mm, the computer technology uh, raises traditional ways um, of working in a wide variety of areas. Okay, can you say that again, please? Um, because I think that um, the computer technology raises traditional ways of working in a variety of areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Wan Yun, do you agree? Yes, I agree with it because uh, some of the people is very uh, depends on the computer, but somehow they went for went on the wrong way and do something illegal and incorrect. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good, excellent. Um, Yasmin, do you agree? Yes, I agree with that essay because mm -hmm. the information given in that essay show that uh, if we depend too much on computer, it can affect our daily life. Mm -hmm. For example, say here, people could not continue enjoy their present standard of living without a computer. Mm -hmm. Very so, good. The conclusion is we can depend 100% on computer. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. And Ashman, do you agree? 
Okay, I think Ashman, can you can you speak? Okay, I think you're having internet problems. Jinkai, do you agree? Uh, you repeat your question. Okay, all right. I can't hear you very well. Okay, all right. So this is how we structure an essay. So we've looked at this before. So let me just remind you. Here is the first paragraph. Let me just highlight it for you. This is the first paragraph. What does the first paragraph do? What's the purpose of the first paragraph? Introduction. Yeah, it's the introduction. Very good, well done. Okay, um, and so you can see in the introduction, um, you should state uh, the topic in your first sentence, but in your use your own words, okay? So you can remember the question is, People in modern in the modern world depend too much on computers, but here in today's world, nearly every aspect of life is affected by computer technology. Here, you use your own words to state the topic of the first of the of the question. Yeah, does everyone understand? Yes, does everyone understand? So you, you need to introduce the topic in the first sentence, but use your own words. Don't copy the same sentence from the question. Okay. Um, and also in the introduction, you don't start by saying you agree or you disagree. In the introduction, you're just introducing the the essay the topic okay and then in the second paragraph what what is the purpose of the second paragraph can anyone tell me what's the purpose of this paragraph very good excellent yes yeah, so it introduces the first idea with some supporting details. Very good, well done. So um, include supporting details for the points in each paragraph, okay? So there are the supporting details. Very good, well done. Okay, and what about this paragraph? What's the purpose of this paragraph? Very good, excellent. Yes, so it's showing a contrast uh, idea and some supporting uh, um, details as well. Very good, excellent. And then the final paragraph, what does this paragraph to do? Conclusion. It's the conclusion, very good. Excellent, and it expresses your opinion in the conclusion. Very good, well done. Okay, so can anybody tell me, oops, let me just try and find it, there it is. Okay, can anybody tell me what does this word do? What does however do? Expressing contrast. It expresses contrast, very good. What about this word here, therefore? Adding information. Uh, it doesn't add information. It does the other job. It's the other function. It again. Cause and effect. Yeah, it shows cause and effect. Very good. Excellent. All right. Okay, and let's look at some more vocabulary. So here, you can see some more useful language that you can use in your essays, okay? So we've looked at some of this language before, but let's look at it again, because it's useful. Okay, so some people claim that, okay? So what does that sentence do? Does it add information? 
does it express contrast or does it show cause and effect? Express. What do you think? Excellent. Very good. Very good. Well done. What about this expression? It is often said that. Does it add information? Does it express contrast? Or does it show cause and effect? Any ideas? It adds information, okay? So it is often said that, okay. What about this expression? However, in my view or in my opinion, does it add information? Does it express contrast or show cause and effect? Express contrast. Very good, excellent. And what about this word here, firstly? What does firstly do? <clears throat> it doesn't, it organizes ideas, okay? So words like firstly and secondly, and finally, all of these words, organize ideas okay so if you want to put ideas in order use these words okay okay all right what about this expression here this is a good one while it is true that what does this expression do does it add information does it show contrast or does it, uh, sorry, does it express contrast or does it show cause and effect? Russian. Again, I can't hear you. Does it express contrast? Does it add information or does it show cause and effect? Russian. No, it shows contrast, expresses contrast, okay? So while it is true, express contrast, okay? All right, what about this sentence here? From my point of view, what do you think this expression does? Express control. Mm, no, it doesn't. It gives an opinion. Okay, gives an opinion. Okay, so when you want to give your opinion, you can use from my point of view. Okay. Okay, what about finally? Organize idea. Excellent, very good. Organizes ideas. What about this expression here, on balance? On balance, I feel that. Okay, so this concludes. Okay, so this is a concluding sentence. Okay, and then how about this one? To sum up, in conclusion, it seems to me that, what does this sentence do? Conclusion. Very good, conclusion, very good. <clears throat> Excellent, good. Okay, does anyone have any questions? No? Okay. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, because this is useful information, let me know once you've taken the screenshot in the chat box. Just write done. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Good. Okay.
All right, so what I'd like you to do now is, let's go back to this language. Okay, all right. So we looked at formal cohesive devices earlier. And remember, express contrast, this word means but, okay? But but is informal. So in your essays, you should use these words instead because these words are formal, okay? And add more information. This word means and, these words, sorry, mean and but and is too informal. So you've got to use these words instead, okay? And then show cause and effect. That means because, uh, but again, because is too informal. In your essays, you should use these words instead, okay? All right. Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay. All right. So what I'd like you to do in the chat box is I'd like you to tell me, I'm going to get rid of this. Tell me, what have you learned today? What new things have you learned today? And write in, in the chat box for me. So give me an example of one, please, Alia. Alia Yasmin. Very good, thank you. Anyone else? Can anyone else give me an example of something that they've learnt today, something new? Vega Jinkai, can you give me an example of a linker that you have learnt? Very good. Expressing contrast. Excellent. Very good. In conclusion, very good, Jinkai. Good. Any more? To sum up, very good. Firstly, okay, so firstly organizes ideas, very good. Has anyone learned anything else? Wan Yang, Wan Yun, what have you learned today? Very good, Ashman. You're still typing. Okay, no problem. Um, Ashman, you've learned moreover. Excellent. What does moreover mean, Ashman? Can you remember what does it mean, Ashman? Does it express contrast? Does it show cause and effect? Or does it add information? Adds information, excellent, well done. Good, very good. And we're just waiting for Wen Yun to finish her sentence. All right, so we're coming to the end of today's class, Wen, Wen Yun. Okay, very good. So what have you learned? Uh, you learned useful linkers, very good, added information besides expressing contrast. On the other hand, however, 
uh, showed cause and effect as a result. Conclusion to sum up. Excellent. Very, very good. Well done. Good. Okay, well done, everyone. Thank you very much for your hard work today. Um, that's the end of the lesson. So I look forward to seeing you next week. If you do come to the class next week, can you try to have headphones with a microphone so we, um, I can hear you? Um, and also try to get your cameras to work so I can see you as well. All right. Okay, have a great week, everyone. And I will see you next week. Okay, okay so bye-bye. Bye. -bye.